it's been really scary. It's certainly affected my life, uh, affected my uh, the way I take care of my child. Dr. Allison Berry, speaking to us remotely, says for now, she's not going to the office as threats and hate mail have been filling her inbox. There were some folks who went to my former residence. Um, there were a lot of folks who circulated what they thought was my address online um, and encouraged people to come find me. The attacks are sparked by her decision announced last week. A public health order saying Clallam County will require proof of vaccination for indoor dining. We don't spread preventable illnesses in indoor spaces right now. We just can't afford to do that. Dr. Berry needs to step down and no more noble lies. At a county meeting Tuesday night, many spoke out against the order. <laughs> Cheers could be heard from outside where people were waiting to speak. However, some like Tim Wheeler came to show support. In fact, when I was speaking, I could hear him booing outside. I said, thank you, Dr. Berry, for your efforts to save lives. Clallam County currently has a 22% positivity rate. More than 90% of the COVID-19 cases are coming from those unvaccinated. Dr. Berry says she believes requiring proof of vaccination is more effective and less costly than capacity limits. It's us and the governor that can do this. Um, and I think we have to for the sake of the health of our entire communities, not just for COVID-19, but for all the other people who rely on the medical system. And I think for me, it's important not to let people who would threaten public officials win. Um, and it's important to do the right thing, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. Dr. Berry says, unfortunately, she's heard from colleagues who are facing similar situations and said right now they're fearful to move forward with public health policy. The Clallam County Sheriff's Office said they've investigated some of these messages sent to Dr. Berry, but said they haven't seen anything that's a criminal violation of the law.